Hi, my name is Pete Reardon at the Chimney Rock Farm. This video is about irrigation. Here at the Chimney Rock Farm we use a lot of different irrigation techniques, but most of them generally revolve around the use of positive pressure of water into a pipeline on our farm. We will show you how this water comes out of the pipeline through use of big guns and sprinklers, micro sprinklers, trickle irrigation, and micro irrigation through micro drip tubes under black plastic mulch. We pump our water out of the Piedra River with a, Don, a John Deere diesel engine and pump. It pumps and pressurizes a pipeline that runs the length of our farm. We'll show you how we get water out of pedestals on the pipeline called risers and how we run that water through sprinklers and other irrigation systems. The Piedra River is a wonderful river resource. There is no agricultural or commercial or industrial activity on the river above us in any way shape or form. The water runs out of its original formation at the top of the San Juan Mountains from glaciers and snowpack in the National Forest. It comes right straight out of the Winnemanooch Wilderness Area and down to our farm. It is absolutely non-polluted or unused in any other way. Here we are outside to the east of the house in the packing shed. This is an old orchard that we renovated. We left some of the old uh, antique type variety fruit trees. This was a mess. We cleaned it up over the years. I'm giving you a shot now of the pods watering garlic, shallots, green onions, regular onions, spinach, and kale. A lot of these things you're able to plant in the fall, uh, such as garlic and shallots, some of the onions, and spinach actually. These things are planted in, the, uh, in November, fall of 2009, and this is what you get to look like early in the spring of 2010. We'll actually be cutting spinach for sale here in about two weeks and we'll start pulling garlic, oh, probably in three or four weeks. This is what you can look forward to with your fall and winter plantings here at the Chimney Rock Farm. Here we are down at the other end of the paddock. We're going to get a little wet here as Mr. Pod Sprinkler comes around and, and, and douses us, but you get the idea of the effectiveness of this type of sprinkler irrigation. The key to irrigation is very simple. You've got to make it cheap. And by cheap, you have to watch your infrastructure. You have to watch the fuel, whether it be fossil fuel or electric, to run the operation. And it has to be labor friendly. You cannot spend a lot of time moving things around and rebuilding stuff just to get your water to your cultivars. Irrigation is key. It takes water to do this. Standing here on the deck of the market, it's a little breezy today. This is the pumpkin patch. In the distance you see some disking going on. But this freshly groomed and planted field that you see is the pumpkin patch here at the Chimney Rock Farm. It's about six acres. We uh, generally have good crops, good pumpkins. Have everybody out to enjoy themselves, picking pumpkins, their own special pumpkin and it's good for the market and that we do a lot of uh, retail lunch beverage business here's another view of the same field this is our pumpkin patch 
Got the market in the background and I'm panning across. We're now in the, uh, the southeast corner of the field looking bad. We're panning around, coming down here. This is about the extent of our pumpkins and then we got, we're gonna go over here. We have some unplanted ground, still early in the season. A couple of sprinklers. These sprinklers that you see here are on the potatoes. Then we've got the pods in the distance and there goes the tractor inside the fence grooming the field for the uh, black plastic beds. On the other side of the tractor is our apricot orchard. We have 120 certified organic apricot trees. Not, not many of those found around. There's the market. Here's a sprinkler and you can see the latch pipe. And the beauty of the aluminum latch pipe is that it's relatively inexpensive for what it is. One man can easily pick up a link or two and, and, and run it around the field. You carry it, hand carry it. And when we get ready to cultivate, all you gotta do is go out, unhook it, run the tractor by it, hook it back up and you're good to go. It's gasketed. We pick it up at the out of the field at the end of the year and stack it. Very, very nice product, easy to use. Our sprinklers are on. They're called big guns and as you can see, we're getting the pumpkins watered. Got two big radiuses and because of pressure differentials, we run two or three, maybe even sometimes four of these big guns at a time. Getting our pumpkins watered here in the morning. When we say rain on the Chimney Rock Farm, this is what we mean. We're watering pumpkins and we're making rain. We're out here late afternoon in the cabbage. This is cabbage, broccoli, cauliflower. We got the big gun going, sprinklers coming around, hitting these plants as you can see. Nice water on these young sets. We're gonna have some good cabbage and good broccoli this year. We're looking at the cabbage and broccoli from the other side. We're looking actually over the potatoes. Got a good stand of potatoes coming up. We'll weed them again here pretty quickly. And this is a big gun on its rotation, watering the potatoes. I'm standing in the cabbage. Our cabbage is folding up. It's been humid, had a little rain, very hot. Cabbage is going to be very, very large this year. As you can see, it's beginning to fold up and make heads. We should be picking in about a week. We are out here in the broccoli. Broccoli is doing very well. We're noted for our late season broccoli. This broccoli will pick in about a week to 10 days. It's, it's good looking and we're gonna make some nice heads and crowns of broccoli. But we're about 10 days, a week to 10 days out. And this is the last week in July. So we're noted for late broccoli. We're one of the few farms in the region that can grow broccoli this late in the year and it's an excellent cash crop.